It's been exactly a decade since Elliot Stabler signed off from his last shift at Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, bringing an abrupt end to one of the longest running will they, won't they relationships in TV history. On Thursday, the erstwhile detective played by Christopher Maloney will return to NBC in a two-hour crossover event, reuniting with his former partner, Olivia Benson, Mariska Hargitay, on SVU, before spinning off into his own series, Law & Order, Organized Crime. Details of the new series have been closely guarded, no episodes were made available for critics ahead of the premiere, but the official logline for Organized Crime explains that Stabler returns to the NYPD after a devastating personal loss, rejoining the police department during a moment of reckoning in the criminal justice system. For devoted fans of the record-breaking, seemingly unstoppable crime procedural, Stabler and Benson's reunion is an event on par with a Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston reconciliation, something many have speculated about wildly, but few believed could happen outside the realm of their own fevered imaginations. If it's been a while since you last binge-watched all 400-something episodes of SVU and need a refresher, here's a look back at the saga of Benson and Stabler. So did they ever, you know, get together? No. But for 12 seasons, SVU was a classic two-hander, fueled by the chemistry between Stabler, a tough guy, ex-marine and father of five, and Benson, a compassionate detective and single woman seemingly married to her job. The writers of the show knew exactly what they were doing, teasing viewers by concocting storylines that required Stabler and Benson to pose as a swinging married couple or a sex worker and John. There was also Stabler's marriage, which was not exactly rock solid. He and his wife, Kathy, Isabel Gillies, wed at 17, separated for a time and nearly got divorced, but reconciled when she unexpectedly became pregnant. Why did Maloney leave SVU? After more than 270 episodes in 12 seasons, Stabler was written off the show, not for creative reasons but because Maloney and NBC reached an impasse over his contract negotiations. Maloney recently described his departure as inelegant, but stayed close with Hargitay, occasionally setting the internet on fire by showing up on her Instagram account. Since leaving SVU 10 years ago, he's become Peak TV's favorite zaddy, starring in shows such as The Handmaid's Tale, Pose, Happy, and Harley Quinn. How did they write Stabler off the show? Given how seismic Stabler's departure was for the series and its devoted audience, his farewell is unceremonious, almost as if the producers were holding out hope for a last-minute contract resolution that never came to fruition.